So, when filmmakers try to show us what it is like to be someone or something else, what they're really doing is showing us what they think it might be to look out from behind someone's eyes. But consciousness is not like that. You don't see blinks. You don't see a tunnel. You don't see the world bouncing when you run. You don't see the world turn sideways when you turn sideways. And you don't see words displayed in your mind just for you to read and then understand them. So what does this tell us? It reminds us that conscious experience isn't about what your eyeballs are doing, but instead what you're experiencing as your internal model. And that's why, as clever as these movies are, they can never really show us what it's like to be someone else from the inside. At best, they give us a visual metaphor. But that kind of metaphor is not even close to actual experience. So what we're seeing is that the plot of Strange Days, where you live someone else's experience in the way that they experienced it, is presumably impossible. So to pull this all together, let's return to the idea of dream celebrities, this idea of recording your dreams and playing them to someone else and becoming a social media star of the nocturnal world. So let's make sure this is clear. You could imagine just getting the visuals of what someone else saw, but there are a couple of things to note here. If I just measured the activity in your visual cortex while you dreamed, and then I fed that same data into stimulation of my visual cortex, it wouldn't be exactly the same because even in the primary visual cortex, there are individual differences. So what I saw would be a warped version of what you saw. 